CFC support is very uniquely tailored uh, for uh, the uh, needs of uh, African small and micro enterprises. Um, for us, the areas we found very, very unique is number one, flexibility when it came to collateral. We had uh, established our processing initiative uh, for about uh, five years before we encountered uh, or be before CFC came in to support us. But we remained uh, very small because we could not afford collateral to uh, approach uh, commercial bank to be able to access finances to build um, a factory. But CFC was able to, uh, to assess other capacities and make a decision to uh, finance us to put up our current factory. So we, we found that very unique. The responsiveness of uh, staff who worked with us very, very supportive. Uh, even when we were finalizing the proposal, which really required a lot of technical uh, you know, inputs, staff at CFC were very uh, cooperative and uh, that really uh, helped us uh, develop uh, our proposal to the end. Um, we found uh, CFC very responsive during COVID because uh, COVID hit us when we had already started repaying the facility. And they were able to support us uh, with an additional uh, working capital uh, to cushion us from uh, uh, what uh, um, we could not pay just then because we had quite some inventory and, and sold uh, during COVID because our kind of business then depended a large, to a large extent on uh, a supply to breweries and most uh, um, uh, selling joints for the brewery products were closed during COVID. So they were not able to take uh, quite a large amount of our, what we had collected from the smallholder farmers. So, so it was very unique of uh, a CFC. Uh, that flexibility feature uh, was very credible. Uh, it came a time when we needed to pay off CFC so that we could use uh, uh, our factory facility uh, to secure local uh, financial support uh, because of many factors. Uh, we, we had to consolidate. We, we were then uh, working with the three different ladders and uh, the repayments would fall due almost at the same time. So it was very stressful. So we decided to consolidate uh, the three loans, including the CFC loan, so that we would afford now to have uh, a, a structural a kind of a repayment, a structured kind of repayment. So, so it was very unique of CFC to accept uh, to let us go without uh, giving us any uh, difficulties. In fact, they, they, they worked with us to support us uh, to exit because they felt it was the best uh, decision for us then. In terms of uh, recommendations, we would recommend number one, if uh, um, it is possible to make the application process uh, maybe less incentive, intensive uh, so that uh, smaller businesses are able to access support. Number two, um, having also less uh, a threshold in terms of uh, how much or the minimum that uh, can be borrowed. I'm sure there are many other factors that have been considered uh, to get to that. And on the other side, I would also recommend that uh, CS, CFC is able to evaluate our businesses' uh, capacity to expand 
uh, or create a diversification of products and support them. So, so refinancing, uh, maybe coming back a second and a third time um, would be great for African uh, small and business enterprises. Value addition, in my view, is one of the most uh, important and uh, sustainable ways of developing smallholder uh, farmers from remaining small to being uh, commercialized. Because what we have been able to do as a business is to aggregate the farmer's needs. Uh, we have the pharmacy in groups, and then we also aggregate their produce and process it. For a long time before CFC supported us to put up the factory, we would aggregate the produce and then sell it to third parties and sometimes even fourth parties. But when an African business and when a, um, um, an enterprise is able to process directly uh, from the smallholder farmer to the processor, then a lot of middle um, uh, expenses are, are avoided and the, the benefit to the farmer is increased. The, um, currently, our smallholder farmers do not need to have anyone introduce them to us. They do not need to have anyone collect their produce to bring to us. They are able to aggregate the produce in their groups and deliver to the factory or if an individual is able to do enough volume on their own, they are able to do that and deliver to the factory. We encourage contract farming, whereby the farmer knows the price from the beginning as they plant. They know they will sell to Shalem at this price, which is a big uh, uh, difference from what would have happened if we were not a processor, because then we would have to depend on that processor to give us uh, a price, then come down and give the price to the farmer. If the processor by any chance gets a problem, then Shalem and the farmer is uh, in worse problems because we were depending on that, uh, you know, uh, a processor. But we are happy that uh, now the farmer depends directly on Shalem. So it, it would be great if we can have more uh, processors, um, more businesses dealing with value-added uh, um, uh, products of the farmer's produce instead of buying the produce all and going to sell it. Uh, value-added pro uh, products add um, uh, more money or more income to the farmer. We have uh, realized that uh, since we started processing, we hardly waste anything that the farmer produces. Because when we process um, maize, for example, into um, uh, fortified uh, maize flour, then we have byproducts that we have uh, established an uh, animal feed uh, line that uses the byproduct as the raw materials. So the farmer ends up earning in many ways because they will not only uh, have a market, a ready market for their produce, but they also have quality food. They also have quality feed for their animals. And uh, generally the consumers uh, uh, are healthier because uh, they, they, we can trace how that uh, you know, a produce is produced and uh, uh, when we process, we know what we are processing and the farmer also and the, pro the consumer generally have more confidence in, uh, in, our, in our products. <music> Mm -hmm. 
my most important advice would be that the enterprises identify a need among the community the communities they they target as their market if they are able to meet that need as well as help the um, consumers identify the the products that they sell to them as solutions then that would be one great step in the right direction what we have been able to do as a business is um, we have uplifted the farmers to a level where they are our partners so that the, the 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 farmer is not just a price taker but they are invited at the table to discuss price when they they go to plant they know why they need to use fertilizer why they need to invest why they need to improve the quality of the produce because they know the better their produce the higher their 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 yield and their, their, the higher their income. So, so if an, an enterprise is able to identify a need and work with the people to meet that need so that uh, the enterprise is not looked upon as uh, that um, uh, either donor who is far away or they are not looked at uh, exploiters, yeah, because sometimes if uh, you might be doing a lot of good things for people, but if they do not participate, then they do not even understand. So even when you're not able to give very high margins uh, for their produce, they do not understand why. But when you involve them from the beginning, then they own, they own the process, they own the challenges, uh, like uh, in many um, African countries, uh, unfortunately, uh, there is interference uh, from policies um, that do not appear to consult uh, the businesses. You just wake up one morning and there's a policy that really affects your business. If the consumers and uh, the, the uh, suppliers to the business do not understand where you're coming from, then it becomes difficult for them to support. But when they understand, then it becomes a, a common problem and all of you are looking for a common solution. Probably um, also to encourage uh, uh, entrepreneurs of, or, or uh, yeah, to look for uh, technical support. Sometimes uh, we invest uh, on basis of uh, what we have seen others do or what uh, popularly uh, many people think is working, but we have found that, uh, especially when you go into um, um, investment in uh, product development, uh, marketing, a lot of technical uh, guidance is needed. In the past, uh, personally, I thought, so long as I have something good, someone will buy it because it is good. But we have realized that people need to know what is so good about what you are offering? And uh, what is the difference between your, what you're offering and maybe what is being offered elsewhere? So technical um, expertise in every area uh, along the value chains is, is critical. <music>I may repeat myself just to emphasize that uh, um, understanding the environment in which we are working, understanding the challenges uh, that, um, uh, that uh, we face or that we are likely to face, and uh, just answering the question, who am I doing this for? If you're doing it just for money, then it becomes uh, very difficult to achieve because money can be elusive and there are many challenges against money. But uh, if there is other motivation, if there is the contextual uh, assurance that what we are doing really matters, then uh, money comes.
in the long run. 